Hello, I'm Reza Rad. In this video, I'm going to talk about a very important keyword in Power Query that you can use it in Power BI Desktop, in Excel, in Power Query, in uh, data flows, inside Microsoft Fabric um, data flows, or in Power BI data flows, in any of the places that you use Power Query. It's a very important keyword that gives you not only list of existing queries that you have, but also list of all functions that you can use it to search for a specific function. Let's go and check it out. Sometimes in Power BI or basically inside the Power Query of Power BI, you want to get the list of queries that you have uh, using a uh, using a method, or sometimes you are looking for a specific function in Power Query. Of course, you can search in Google for that function, but the method that I use specifically, I'm going to show you that, and that is also the same method that you can use to get list of existing queries that you have inside your Power Query solution, inside Power BI Desktop, or in Power BI Data Flows, or in Microsoft Fabric Data Flows. So let's go and check it out. Um, I'm switching to a Power BI solution. As you can see, I have a Power BI desktop solution here and I'm going to switch to Power Query. Um, here, this is the Power Query inside Power BI desktop that I have it in Power Query editor. I have two existing queries and I want to use this method and show you how this works. I'm going to start with a new query, a blank query. You can do it uh, just directly from here, new query, blank query, or you can even start with new source, blank query. It doesn't matter which way you use. Uh, once you create that, this new query will give you the formula bar that you can write the formula in here. It's a blank query that you can write the formula. If you don't see the formula bar, go to the view tab and make sure that you have checked the formula bar so that you can see it. Once you have the formula bar, you just need to type this equal uh, which is like your formula is equals to hashtag shared. All of that is lowercase. As you see, when I type it, it becomes a different color uh, than normal keywords or anything like that. And when I type it, when I press enter, it takes a little bit of time. What it does, it gives me a result set here. You can see it's pretty big result set. It has a lot of information in it. Um, the first thing that you'll see is that these two queries that I have, they are both in here. If I had other queries, functions, parameters, you would have seen them also in here. So that is one thing. And the next thing is, uh, of course, this query itself also is the result set. The rest are all the um, functions, enumerators, anything that you see inside Power Query library of this version of Power BI desktop that I'm using. Uh, most of these are functions, and when I click on any of these, that is a function, such as, for example, um, let's say, for example, this one, number to text. When I click on the row, not click on the function, when I click on the row, it gives me some information about the function itself, like what is the function, what it does, some information about it, an example of using it, which is quite helpful. In, in fact, I don't use Google to search for a specific function when I want it, I come here and search for it. Uh, let me show you an example of how I would go and search for a function. Let's say, for example, I want to see if there is a function that gives me the first item in the list or something like that. Then what I'll do is this output is a record, a type of record. If you are not familiar with the types in Power Query, such as record, list, and table. I encourage you to go and check out another video that Leila has recorded in our channel that talks about record, list, and table. Uh, this is a type of record. These are the record headers. These are the values of the record. So when you have this um, this output as a record, uh, if your UI sometimes have, uh, like in the past, Power Query Editor had this option that there was a tab here that you could convert a record to table using the UI. If you don't have that, it's an easy step. You'll just go and add a new step after this. In this step, what you can do is that you can say record to table, because this is a record, you are converting it to a table, and the previous step of that source is the record you are passing there. So when you press enter on this, this output, which was a record, now is a table. You see this is a table, it has column headers, 
and one column is the name of the functions, the other column is the function itself. Uh, why did I convert it to a table? Because when it is converted to a table, then you can easily search in this. Like for example, if I'm searching for a list function, I can come here and say list dot, all the list functions start with that list dot, right? Uh, I can easily find it like that. When I click on OK, this shows me all list functions in here. Uh, I can even search for list.first or something like that. But as you can see, there are functions in here, like for example, list.firstn. I can click on that function itself. If I want to call it, it would be just like that, if I want to call it. Uh, and I can pass the information to it and call it. Or I can, let's remove this step, or I can just click on the row that has that function and it gives me information about what this function does, what is the input of that function, a list, the output any, because it returns a member of that list, which can be uh, any data types. Uh, and it shows me an example of this. This is a list that we want uh, the first and number of it using this parameter and this is the output. Very useful way to go and find a function. So we started with hashtag shared, we found everything that we wanted, we converted to a table, and then we filtered and searched for anything that we want. Not only hashtag shared gives you that, but it also gives you the list of existing queries, parameters, and functions that you have, as you saw here. A uh, very, useful, um, very useful tool to use, very useful um, power query uh, keyword to use. I strongly recommend everyone in my classes I explain about this hashtag shared function. There is also a hashtag section which I might talk about it in a different video and explain the differences between these two. But for now this is a keyword you can use and I hope you go and use it and let me know about how you used it. Um, if you have any questions feel free to put it in the comments below. If you like this video go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos about Power BI and Microsoft Fabric. Until the next video, bye. Thank you.